I'm Tom Carrier with WorthPoint.com. We're at the 36th annual Coin and Collectibles Convention here in Baltimore, Maryland. We're going to get a chance to see 500 or so dealers in coin and currency from all over the country. And I'm anxious to get started. Don't have a lot of time. So come on, let's go. I've got a great coin here. What we have here is the 1969S double die obverse. But this is the actual penny that was confiscated by the government and deemed to be a genuine double die obverse. And it comes with the letter from the Department of Treasury and the Secret Service stating that this is a genuine coin. And this was the coin that was confiscated, thought to be a counterfeit coin, and then returned back to its original owner. They had a group of men at the time that were actually counterfeiting double dies. So the government figured all 1969 S's were counterfeit. In the process of making the die, they twisted the hub and, and put the impression on there twice. So every coin from that die would be a doubled die. So far they think it's anywhere between 24 to 36 of these coins are actually in circulation. I've got one of them. And they're still out there because just at the beginning of this year, a gentleman found a brand new one, sparkling red, mint state, in a roll, and he sold it for about $125,000. Here, this is what's called the Scott Confederate Restrike. When the Confederate Army and the Civil War took over the city of New Orleans, they grabbed hold of the mint and wanted to produce their own money. So they made up a die, says the Confederate States, before they could actually start the minting process and have these coins out in circulation, the Union Army came back into New Orleans and took it over. The dies were lost or hidden for several years, uh, about Five or six years after the Civil War, a man named Scott from New York found the dies, picked up 500 New Orleans minted half dollars, planed off the reverse and restruck those coins. And those are considered, they are called the Confederate Scott restrikes. And only 500 of those were ever made. After that, I think the dies were destroyed. There are several of them that go into auction probably every couple of three years one will go up on the auction block. And a hammer usually falls somewhere between the seven to $10,000 mark. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.